Hello Explorers! I'm Mark and I'm Michelle. Welcome to today's episode of Explore Nueva Ecija YouTube channel. For today's episode, we are featuring the death place of one of the most admired heroes in Philippine history located here in Cabanatuan City, Nueva Ecija. This park in Cabanatuan City, Nueva Ecija, Philippines may be small, but its historical significance is great. Welcome to Plaza Lucero. This is the death place of General Antonio Luna. Who is General Antonio Luna? Antonio Luna was born on October 29, 1866 in Binondo, Manila. He was the youngest child in a brood of seven. His older brother Juan Luna was one of the first internationally recognized Filipino painters and one of the most admired heroes in Philippine history. Antonio Luna was a gifted student. He received a Bachelor of Arts from the highest rank educational institutions in Manila. Eventually, he traveled to Spain to join his brother Juan Luna who was taking up fine arts in Madrid. Antonio Luna earned a licensiate and a doctorate degree in pharmacy from the renowned universities in Madrid and Barcelona, Spain. In Madrid, he fell in love with Nelly Bausted, who was also admired by his friend Dr. Jose Rizal, the national hero of the Philippines. They became romantic rivals, but it came to nothing and Antonio Luna remained single. He went to Paris and Belgium to study bacteriology and histology extensively. In 1894, he returned to the Philippines where he became the chief chemist of the municipal laboratory in Manila. In August 1896, Antonio Luna and his two brothers were arrested and imprisoned. They were accused of joining the Katipunan, a revolutionary organization against the Spanish colonial rule in the Philippines. Antonio Luna was sentenced to exile and imprisoned in Spain. His older brother Juan Luna, by this time a famed painter, used his connections with the Spanish royal family to secure Antonio Luna's release in 1897. After his exile and imprisonment, the arbitrary treatment of his brothers and the execution of his friend Dr. Jose Rizal, Antonio Luna became rebellious against Spanish colonial rule. He finally decided to study warfare tactics, military organization, and field fortification before he sailed to Hong Kong. When the Treaty of Paris under which Spain was to cede to the Philippines to the United States of America was made public in December 1898, General Antonio Luna immediately decided to take military action. On June 2, 1899, Antonio Luna received two telegrams. One telegram asked for help in launching a counterattack. The other mail was sent by Emilio Aguinaldo, the first president of the Republic of the Philippines. He ordered General Antonio Luna to go to the new capital in Cabanatuan City, Nueva Ecija, to form a new cabinet. On June 4, 1899, General Antonio Luna sent a telegram to President Emilio Aguinaldo confirming his arrival. Upon arriving in Cabanatuan on June 5, General Antonio Luna proceeded to the headquarters to meet with the president. As he went up the stairs, he ran into Captain Pedro Hanulino, whom he had previously disarmed for insubordination and an old enemy whom he had once threatened with arrest for favoring American autonomy. General Antonio Luna was told that President Emilio Aguinaldo had left for San Isidro, Nueva Ecija. He became furious and asked why he had not been told that the meeting was canceled. General Antonio Luna got into an altercation with Captain Pedro Hanulino as he was about to leave. In the town square fronting the church of Cabanatuan, a rifle shot rang out. Still furious and outraged, General Antonio Luna rushed down the stairs and met Captain Pedro Hanulino, accompanied by some members of his battalion. Captain Pedro Hanulino swung his bolo at General Antonio Luna, wounding him in the head. Hanulino's men fired at General Antonio Luna, while the others started stabbing him. General Antonio Luna staggered out into the plaza or town square where his companions Colonel Francisco Roman and Captain Eduardo Rusca were rushing to his aid but they were also shot. The pitiful general received more than 30 wounds and uttered, Cowards! Assassins! He was hurriedly buried in the churchyard. Later, General Pantaleon Garcia admitted that it was he who was verbally ordered by President Emilio Aguinaldo to conduct the assassination of General Antonio Luna. His sickness at the time prevented his participation in the assassination. Despite President Emilio Aguinaldo denying the allegation of his involvement in General Antonio Luna's murder many times, an original copy of the mail he sent to General Antonio Luna was discovered in 2019 showing his order for General Luna to visit Cabanatuan. 
The loss of General Antonio Luna resulted in a lack of discipline among Filipino soldiers and it was a major weakness that was never remedied during the course of the war. In addition, soldiers connected with General Antonio Luna were demoralized. As a result, they eventually surrendered to the new colonizers of the Philippines, the Americans. With bravery and dignity, he remained patriotic till his last breath. General Antonio Luna succumbed to death in the spot where his monument is currently situated. Plaza Lucero is located along Del Pilar Street, corner General Luna Street in front of St. Nicholas of Tolentine Parish Cathedral in the city center of Cabanatuan. Today, Plaza Lucero is no longer filled with grief and terror. As nightfall comes, more and more people are visiting this small square in the heart of the city. And the monument of General Antonio Luna in front of the cathedral is beautifully illuminated. Indeed, Plaza Lucero is relatively small, but its importance in Philippine history is big. The city government of Cabanatuan must maintain the cleanliness and orderliness of Plaza Lucero in salute of the great General Antonio Luna, and it's one of the historical gems in the province of Nueva Ecija, Philippines. And this is the other historical site in Cabanatuan City located 8 kilometers away from the city proper. Cabanatuan American Memorial was a Japanese prison camp during the World War II. More than 500 prisoners of war were jointly rescued here by Filipino guerrillas and American troops on January 30, 1945. To all our subscribers, thank you so much for your continued support. Thank you so much for watching, explorers! Bye! Bye.